you all must have seen a science fiction movie and wondered, just like me, what if this invention was real? How could have that changed the world? Well, let's have a look at few of the inventions that were lost with time and could have changed the world drastically. At number one, we have the slew digital coding system. In the late 1990s, Dutch inventor Roomke Jan van Hert Sloot claimed to have developed a revolutionary form of data compression. The Sloot digital coding system was said to have been able to compress a multi-gigabyte movie down to the size of just 8 kilobytes. Sloot's invention allegedly allowed him to play 16 movies simultaneously from 64 kilobyte chip without any external source. Upon demonstrating the idea to Philips executives in 1999, Sloot was told he was about to be the richest man on earth. However, two days before the source code was going to be handed over, Sloot was found dead in his garden of a heart attack. Just think of the applications this could have had. You would have been able to watch a full HD movie on just your 2G data, which right now requires at least 4G connectivity. Another mysterious thing was that his decoding algorithm was never recovered and it was revealed that someone had already tampered with the demonstration chip which could have been used to reverse engineer his source code. At number 2, we have Ogle Carburetor. In the late 1970s, an auto mechanic Tom Ogle unveiled a device that allegedly increased auto fuel efficiency over 100 mpg that is approximately 42 kilometers per liter. Now that may not sound much to you, but at that point of time it was not short of a miraculous invention. As compared to other vehicles that was a very high ma mileage that his machine was able to acquire. Ergel demonstrated his prototype to reporter by driving 200 miles approximately 322 kilometers from Deming to El Paso, Texas on 7.5 liters of gas. Oil companies reportedly approached Ogle with multi-million dollar offers to never build another machine, but Ogle refused to sell. Ogle had dreams to design and sell his own car, but that was not to be. He was shot an, by an unidentified assailant in 1981 before suspiciously dying of an accidental overdose later that year. I know what you're thinking, it probably were people from the oil companies. At number 3, we have Starlight. Invented in the 1980s by amateur chemist Morris Ward, Starlight was a material that could supposedly withstand a nuclear blast. The complex plastic reportedly contained up to 21 organic polymers and copolymers, and small quantities of ceramics. In tests, eggs predicted with starlight coating remained raw in 2200 Fahrenheit or approximately 1200 degrees Celsius flame of a blowtorch. And in other tests, the material defied 18,000 Fahrenheit or approximately 10,000 degrees Celsius laser blasts, three times the sublimation point of diamond. It was remarkably lightweight, released no toxic fumes and could be formulated as liquid, paste or molded solid. Although Starlight drew interest of governments and multinational corporations, it was never sold to anyone. Ward failed to commercialize the invention, refusing to relinqu relinquish a controlling interest in the mystery formula until it vanished with his death in 2011. At number 4, we have Tesla Death Ray. The Teleforce was a charged particle beam weapon developed by Nikolaus Tesla in 1930s based on Van de Graaff's generator. Tesla claimed that his death ray could bring down a fleet of 10,000 enemy airplanes at a distance of 200 miles or approximately 322 kilometers. He reportedly carried out successful scale tests of the weapon, but its true mode of action remains unknown to everyone. It was speculated that it was something similar to a laser or proto-railgun. Negotiations for the technology were conducted with several world powers, but Tesla refused to provide blueprints. Wary of his super weapon's power to end all war and even the world, if it landed in the wrong hands, Tesla kept the schematic all in his mind. The Tesla death ray disappeared with his death.
let me know which one of these were your favorite inventions so that's it for this video if you liked it click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you and have a nice day